everybody, a couple of days ago, I did a video where I showed how to kill your unused measures and columns in your report. And today I want to do exactly the opposite and show you how to quickly create and organize measures in your report. And in particular, these are the basic um, explicit measures that you're going to use. I never use implicit measures. Implicit measures, you can't branch them. Um, they're hard to show up in documentation software. You can't use them in calculation groups. They're hard to refactor. They're just a terrible idea. And so we're going to create our, our base explicit measures that we're then going to be able to branch off of. And so I want to, want to show you a really great trick for how to do that. And so if we jump into um, what this report looked like before I, I created the visuals, it was basically just a really simple data model with my data from the last 52 weeks of LinkedIn linked up to the enterprise DNA extended date table, and then just a, a measures table, um, which I think at this point just had like one measure in it, a couple of measures in it as a placeholder. And so um, what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to go into um, tabular editor three. And this will also work in tabular editor two, the free version. I just happen to use three. Um, I just, I like it better. I just find it easier to use and more powerful. So, but this, everything I'm going to show you will work in TE2 as well. So what we want to do is we want to take advantage of the C-sharp scripting um, capabilities here. And particularly this one called um, Create Bulk Measures. And I just adapted this from the archive that Daniel Otik here put up um, of C-sharp scripts that are available. and Basically, what this does is this just creates a, a min, a max, a sum, an average, and a median measure for every selected column. And so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our, our fact table. And here I've got comments, likes, shares, and views. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to hit macros and then create bulk measures. And you'll see what that does. That quickly creates 20 separate measures. And if we go into our expression editor, we can just take a look at these. And these are just really simple measures. So, you know, max of num views, um, median of num shares, and et cetera. You know, just basic, basic one line measures that you can branch off of. And then what we're also going to do is for each of these tables, we're going to create a a number of rows measure, and that's a different script. And if we, we go here, macros auto generate count rows, and that's gonna be number of rows in the LinkedIn table. And then we're gonna have another one that's number of rows in the dates table. And so one of the things I like to do, and let's, let's just take all this and save this back to the data model. And one of the things I really like to do is I like to keep my measures in a measures table. I know. Not everybody likes to do this. Um, some people also like to keep them in folders and we can do that too. But I wanna show you a really quick way to handle your, your measures and move them around and, and format them. And it's a tool that Greg Deckler um, developed and there's a pro version that we have available for enterprise DNA subscribers, but he's also got a, a basic version um, on his GitHub site and I'll, I'll put a link to that in the, in the comments. And it's a, it's a program he has called Meta Mechanic Pro, Metadata Mechanic Pro. And we'll fire that up. And what this does is this gives you access to all the metadata in your, in your report about your columns and measures. And so what we can do is, um, one of the things I like to do is I like to default all my dates to short date format. And I like to turn all my aggregations off those auto sums. And I like to put all my measures into a measures table called key measures. And what we could also do is we could also, we could hide some columns. We could set, you know, different um, format strings for different, different measures. So we hit get metadata and it goes through, it pulls all the metadata for, for all our tables and columns. And we can set those individually if we want, but I kind of like to set them, set them globally. And so now all we do is we're going to hit set metadata. And if we, um, if we look here, tabular editor created all of our, our measures in the tables themselves, which 
which I don't like. I like to put them in, in, our, in the measures table. And the other thing we had, if you remember, is we had these auto summations. And so for, for Metadata Mechanic Pro, keep an eye on that right-hand that right hand column, and we're just gonna hit Set Metadata, and it says Finished, click OK. And what we're gonna see is now all the, all the measures have moved up into our measures table, and all of our aggregations have turned off. And so that is the really quick and easy way to create, manage, and, um, and turn off your aggregations. Um, so hope you find that helpful. I'll put all the links to these, these programs and scripts in the, um, in the comments. And um, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.